Hi, my name is Sanjay Bodraj. I'm an interventional cardiologist who performs structural, coronary, and peripheral vascular procedures. I've been an interventional cardiologist for the better part of 15 years, and I've been using the NextMind device for about six months. For every procedure in the cardiac catheterization lab or in the peripheral vascular suite, I have to wear my leaded garments, which include a lead skirt as well as a lead apron. This is really meant for protection for me from all the x-ray that I get cumulatively over the course of a year during these patient cases. Normally I have a block day where I'm stacking anywhere from five to seven procedures back to back to back. And as it gets later in the day, I just feel physically tired. And I had no idea how much the weight of the leads just physically affected me and really kind of affected my performance in the cath lab. The thing that I'm most concerned about is making sure my back doesn't hurt at the end of procedures. I think any physician or surgeon who is involved in procedural subspecialties is obsessed with maintaining good musculoskeletal health. A lot of us have colleagues and friends that we know whose careers quite honestly had to end because of a spine-related disorder. Oftentimes because we're looking down at a patient field or looking up at a patient screen, we forget to maintain our posture appropriately to prevent wear and tear on our backs. So most of us are aware that this is a major issue that could potentially cause a career-ending injury, but a lot of us don't know what to do to prevent that from happening. I've been using neck spine for about six months here in the cath lab. I think of it the same way I think of putting on my leads. It's just one of the things that I have to do to protect myself during these procedures. So I use it for every case, scheduled cases, emergent cases, structural cases. Anytime in the cath lab doing a procedure, I'm wearing my neck spine. Honestly, at this point, I can't imagine ever doing a cath lab procedure without it. It's actually increased my postural awareness quite a bit. So I'm aware when I'm bending at my thoracic spine, or bending at my cervical spine into an awkward position. It gives me feedback that I just never had before, allowing me to stay in a more upright posture that really helps reduce my fatigue over time. Once I started wearing it on a consistent basis, I kind of realized how much wearing LEDs wore me down during the course of the day. Now, after a day of four or five procedures, I just feel so much lighter and so much better. I feel like towards the end of the day on my procedures, I can concentrate more and be more present for my patients because I just don't have the same physical discomfort that I had before. I don't think a lot of us in healthcare really understand how much the physical toll of what we do at work affects what happens to us outside of work. Now that I wear the device and I feel so much better, when I get home, I actually wanna play with my kids. I actually wanna take the dog out for a walk. I'm able to, to get to the gym and lift and, and exercise and work out because I don't have that same physical fatigue that I felt before when I was doing procedures without the device on. So many things outside of work are benefiting from the protection I'm giving myself at work. And it's really been kind of a remarkable transformation for me from something that I didn't even know was a problem before. When I first heard about the NextMind device, the thing that I was most concerned about was how it, it would interact with the other equipment that I had to wear in terms of surgical gowns, in terms of my lead apron and lead vest. And honestly, it fits so well that I even forget that it's there. So putting the device on is actually a lot faster and much more simple than I thought it would be. It's really a very quick process. It takes about as long as it takes to put my LEDs on. It basically is like putting on a backpack. There's three straps that you have to tighten. There are the shoulder straps, there's the chest strap, and then there's a waist belt that help lock you into the device. After that, there's the headpiece that you want to put on. There's a strap to adjust the depth of the helmet, and then a strap to adjust the tightening around your head. And then there's the slider that you insert onto the support beam in the back and that's what really locks you into place. Soup to nuts, the whole process takes about 30 to 45 seconds. And it's become an essential part, just like wearing LEDs or wearing scrubs. It's just part of the uniform of what I do. So one of the great things about the next bind is really just how comfortable it is when you put it on. And once you have it dialed in to your, you know, the width of my chest or where the shoulders are or where I like the waistband, it really just doesn't feel like I'm wearing anything at all. It allows me that freedom of movement but gives me that constant feedback to know when I'm out of position and helps me get back into a more neutral position on a pretty regular basis, quite naturally. You know, once I have the device on and I'm doing procedures, 
I just feel happier, I seem happier, and I just, when I come out of cases, I just feel more springy. I don't know how else to describe it. It just, I, I just feel such a reduced burden on my body that I'm just happier, and I just, I just love having this device on. And I feel like it's one of those things that once you experience it, you want it. And, and I really feel that once people wear the device, it's really gonna become a standard of what you wear in any sort of operating room or procedural suite to just feel better and to protect yourself over the course of your career.